Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're now back for another game in season four. And we are undefeated to start the season. You see the conference record here, 2-0. and And we are the only undefeated team in the Pac-12 South to start out the season. And we're going up against another number 13 team in the nation. How many times is this going to happen as we face USC at home? But you see, we're going up against a pretty good squad. Jack Sears is 93 overall. He's nothing to play with. Then they have a duo of running backs, Lucas Peterson and also Marquis Stepp. So this is going to be a tough game. They have a two-headed monster here, and they also don't have any slouches on defense as well. As you check out Randall Grimes here at receiver, he's big time. And then Isaiah Palomau. I mean, this guy is going to be quite the handful for us to handle. But look at all these guys. I mean, they're 90s overall. This is a close to a 99 overall team. I think they're like 97 and 99 on defense. But we're going to have our hands full in this one. So here we go, starting out the game with the ball. Denzel Knox taking a big hit already to start out this game. So now in a second and nine throw, that's a throw across the middle. That's incomplete, making it a third and nine already. Jennings from the shotgun. He's going to find nobody to throw it to. And he's going to chuck this one out of bounds. And that's going to be a quick three and out for SJSU. So here is Sears out onto the field for the first time, giving it off to Marquis Step for seven yards. And now they make it a second and three here from the 35-yard line. Quick throw over the middle. He's got Vaughn. He's going to make it to about the 50-yard line. And that's a gain of 13 and a first down. So second and nine from the 50-yard line. Handoff from the pistol formation. Step's going to get to the outside. He's not going anywhere on that one. That's a tackle by the redshirt freshman, Marcus Daniels. So third and eight, throw across the middle. That's not going to be close. And that's knocked down by Michael Cummings. And that's two punts for both teams. So now here we get the ball back. Here is Denzel Knox getting the carry to the left side on the counter. And that's a gain of four. So we don't move the ball at all on second down. Third and six now. Quick throw across the middle. And that one's picked off. And that's a bad start to the game. For Drayvon Jennings, is that's not exactly what you want to do there. Rahi Makusi, he's wide open across the middle. you got to hit that slant, but he overthrows him just a bit, and now USC is caught inside our territory now as they have pretty good field position. But here is Sears. Can't find his target on his first throw, and that brings it to a third and six. Sears gotcha, this time going to scramble out, and he's not getting away. That's Terrence Miller. Remember, he led our team in sacks. The last two years, he get, gets a sack there, and we get them to settle for a long field goal. But that's off the crossbar, and now it's still 0-0 as we take back over at the same position. So here is Junior Fioka, six yards on that one as he makes it a second and four carry. Here is Denzel Knox. He's getting to the first down marker, and that's a gain of four for the redshirt freshman running back. So first and 10 under center this time. Here's Drayvon Jennings throwing to the sideline. He's got Junior Fioka, his safety blanket for 16 yards and a first down. So now we're past the 50 yard line. Here's Jennings this time under center. He can't get away. And that was instant pressure. That time Tommy Smith gets credited with the sack on that one, making it a third and long. Here he is running out of the uh, pocket. He gets sacked again. That's Tommy Smith. So he's got two sacks on that drive and we have to punt the ball away to USC. So now it's still 0-0 here. Is Step getting the carry from the pistol. He's going to break a tackle from Isaac Tagia, and he's getting up the sideline for 26 yards and a big first down on that one. So first and 10, faking the screen. A quick throw to Vaughn. He's got a man 15 yards, and they're past the 50 at the 45-yard line. So now first and 10, handoff once again to Step from the shotgun. He's got a couple of blockers and a big hole up the middle. He's getting taken down by Parker Gass, but not before a gain of 16. So at the 30-yard line from the shotgun here is Sears throwing deep down the right sideline. He's got Richard, and that's a big gain of 14 for Johnny Richard. And they're inside the 20-yard line with great field gotcha, position. Bitch. But on the next play here is Jack Sears trying to get away, but he gets sacked this time by James Jackson Jr. So now second and 12. Quick throw across the middle. He's got Vaughn, but he's taking a big hit from Isaac Tagia, only a gain of seven. 
So third and five as his first quarter winds down. Quick throw to the sideline. He's got Vaughn again, but that's not going to be enough for the first down. But they are going to line up to go for it. Running the speed option to the left side. Going to pitch it out to step. And he's going to barely get to the first down marker. That's a gain of three. And now they have a good field position here inside the goal line. So here on the next pass, that's picked off. That's Andre Armstead on the interception. And take another look. Andre Armstead sees this screen the whole time and jumps it right away. What an athletic play by the junior linebacker. And now he sets us up here to maybe put to some points on the board finally. So here is Junior Fioka getting the catch over the middle. He's been doing numbers so far in this game. Only three catches, but seems like he's the only one getting open so far. So here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side, but he's not going to get rid of the ball, and he gets sacked. Tommy Smith, he's got three sacks in this game. So now third and 15, throw over the middle. That's Jay Taylor. He's open, and that's a gain of 25. Take another look. He gets hit while throwing that pass, and it's actually right on the mark. So now four minutes left here in the first half. Here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to throw that way, too. He's got Matt Pollard for a gain of 16. So now we're set up inside the 15 yard line, first and 10 under center, fullback in the backfield too. And that's Jay Taylor getting the draw play on that one, picking up a gain of eight. So now we do eventually get it to a third and inches here. Hand off on the stretch play. And Denzel Knox is getting in for the first touchdown of the game. It took all of the first quarter and almost all of the second quarter, but there's finally some points on the board. So now here is Sears back out onto the field this time, scrambling out to the right side. He's got a lot of room, and there's Andrew Jordan there, but he slides before getting tackled. But that's a huge gain as they eventually move it past the 50-yard line. Here is Step from the pistol formation, getting the handoff, and he's getting upfield here with under two minutes left inside the 30. So now Sears from the shotgun, throw across the middle. He's got a wide open Vaughn. We missed him on that one. Kind of hid behind the defensive line, and he picks up a gain of 10. So now a minute left in the half. Here is Sears this time breaking a sack that time, but he's getting forward and not going to lose any yards on that one, but that's only a gain of one. So now a third and six. They hurry it up to the line. Quick snap. Sears from the shotgun. He's going to throw across the middle, but his guy isn't looking that time, and that's incomplete, and they have to settle for the field goal, but that gives us a little bit of time to see if we can put some points up. So 44 seconds left in the half. Here is Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to throw that way. He's got Raheem Akusi keeping both feet in bounds on that one. He didn't need both, but he got them both, and that's a big first down. So now 30 seconds left, second and 10, throw across the middle. That time Jay Taylor's lined up at receiver, and he picks up a gain of 13. So first and 10 at the 50-yard line this time. Here is Jennings throwing out to the right side, and that's Carl Wolf getting in. And that's a gain of 14 as we've been moving the ball pretty well. So now a second and 10, throwing a ball across the middle. That's a shorter gain, so we do have to burn our first time out. But we have 16 seconds left with two left. So now third and four, throw across to the right side. That's Junior Fioka. He's getting out of bounds, stopping the clock with 11 seconds left. Time for about two more plays. So from the shotgun, 11 seconds left, throwing across the middle. That's almost picked off and Drayvon Jennings. Oh, man, almost made a big mistake, and that guy is going to regret dropping that one. So five seconds left. Here's a throw to the right side. Junior Fioka, he can't get into the end zone and tries to run through the defender that time, but we end up settling for the field goal instead of risking it, and we go into halftime with this 10-3 to lead. This is a good game. All of these games have been really good, especially in Pac-12 play. Let's see what the second half has in store. So now to start the second half, here we go. We're out on defense, and this has been a good defensive game. First play of the second half. It's going to be a run, and that's going to be a stop behind the line. James Jackson Jr., the red shirt freshman. So second and 13. Here's a throw from Sears out to the sideline. He's got Johnny Richard, and that three-yard loss doesn't even matter. Gain of 16. So now here is Richard getting another quick throw across the middle. That's a gain of nine as they move the ball close to the 50-yard line. So they do eventually get the first down. Here's another stop, run to the left side, and that's going to be a tackle in the backfield, this time a loss of four, and maybe we can hold them this time. So third and 14, 
from the 47 yard line. Here is Sears, gonna get sacked and that's Terrence Miller. But take another look at this stunt from these two. Andre Armstead pushes his tackle inside and Terrence Miller does the rest, goes around. What great teamwork. And we're gonna get the ball back after the punt. So now here, up by seven. Can we make it 14 maybe? Here's a throw across the middle. That's Junior Fioka picking up a gain of 11 as we move the ball across about the 35 yard line. Here is Jennings scrambling out to the right. He's gonna throw that way and find Raheem Akusi. Almost puts on a juke move on the defender and picks up a gain of 18, almost broke that one. So now first and 10, handoff up the middle. There's Denzel Knox getting his biggest run of the day. That's a gain of 18. And take another look at this Jay Taylor block. He gets downfield and look at that, perfect block on that one. And it opens up another big run. So here's Denzel Knox getting a carry up the middle for eight yards. And now we are a well-oiled machine as it seems like this drive is inevitable to get in the end zone. Here is Jennings dropping back pretty far, but finding Matt Pollard, he's getting eight yards and that's enough for a first. So on a second and five, a couple of plays later from the shotgun again, here's Jennings, he's just gonna take it in and he's diving in for the touchdown and that's six yards out. And that makes it a 14 point lead here at home for the Spartans. And here we go, let's play some defense. So here is Sears from the shotgun. We're sending a blitz. He almost gets sacked, but he eventually gotcha, gets tangled up here. It takes four defenders to bring him down, but James Jackson Jr. gets credited with the half sack on that one. So second and 15, another draw play. Here is Step. He's hesitating, getting a couple of blocks, and he's going to make it down the sideline, and he is gone. Nobody's catching him on this one, and that's a touchdown. And just like that, we had high hopes of making a defensive stop and they break off that long game. Look at this, I mean, just the hesitation. Bounces off of his guard that time, and nobody has the speed to catch up to that guy, and he makes it a seven-point game once again. So here is Jay Taylor on the next drive, getting seven yards up the middle that time on the carry, making it a third and two. Throw out to Knox. Out of the backfield, he's got a gain of six, and that's a first down as we get closer to the 50. So on a second and five. Screen pass out to the left side. Jay Taylor, he's got a lot of room. He picks up one block and picks up another. He's got a lot of room down the sideline, and he makes it inside the 10-yard line. A gain of 48. What a block from Matt Pollard downfield, just getting out there. And our offensive lineman, and that's Isaac Duenas, our guard that time. And here we are set up inside the 10-yard line here on the whip route. Here's Raheem Akusi, he's getting in. Eight yards out for the touchdown. And Drayvon Jennings, seven incompletions in this game. I mean, that's a pretty good completion percentage here in the second half. So here is a handoff to start it out on the next drive. And that's a tackle by Marcus Daniels, man. You gotta love this guy's game. Actually one of the worst rated tacklers, but in game, he has not missed a tackle. So now on a third and 12, throw across the middle. He's gonna find Johnny Richard. That's not enough for a first. And they're actually gonna punt this one away and trust their defense. So now we're just trying to waste some clock here, trying to run the ball. Here is Drayvon Jennings. He's gonna give it off to Denzel Knox, but it's a broken play. And wow, he gets blasted on that one. We're lucky he did not fumble. So second and 13 now, handoff up the middle. Drayvon is gonna hand it off to Knox. And Knox is gonna get a gain of 14. Just enough for the first down as he's got 68 yards in this game. Not three touchdowns like normal, but pretty still a pretty good game. So now Jennings throwing out to the right side. That's going to be picked off by Griffin and Jamal Taylor and Denzel. Uh, not Denzel Knox. Drayvon Jennings are not on the same page on that one. And for some reason, Jamal Taylor was wide open right there. He could have just stopped, and that's where we threw it. And instead, he moved off of his route, and it's an interception. So now here is Sears back out onto the field, this time finding Courtney Barrett for 14 yards on the sideline. So now a first and 10 past the 50. Here is Sears, this time scrambling out to the right side. He's got a big gain that time of 10. He gets whipped around, but not before he picks up a gain of 10 on that one. So second and inches, handoff up the middle. Here's Step breaking one tackle. He's gonna break another tackle and get brought down by Isaac Tagia. But that's a big run of 10 as he's well over 100 yards now. So a second and 10, here's a draw play once again to step, but that time it's James Jackson Jr. having the game of his career so far as I like what I see from him. 
So third and 14, here is Sears. Gotcha, this time facing some pressure. He's getting sacked that time. It's Michael Cummings on the blitz. He had no time to get rid of that one, making it a fourth and 22. This might be for the game. So here is Sears from the shotgun. Has some good blocking, but he gets hit on the throw, throws the ball deep, and that's deflected, and that one might just do it as we get the ball back with under three minutes left, and we just have to get a couple of first downs here, and this game might be over. So here is Denzel Knox, five yards on that carry, and we're getting him to burn some timeouts. So third and five, here's Knox out of the backfield. He's getting open again, and that's a big gain for him, 14 yards. And we get them to use all their timeouts. So that means one more first down wins it. And here is Jay Taylor in the shotgun next to Drayvon Jennings. He's going to get the counter play to the left side. He's going to pick up the first. And that is all she wrote. Five yards and enough to move the chains. And we get the victory here at home versus another number 13 team. Hopefully we move up in the rankings. I mean, we haven't moved at all really the last few games. We've been ranked. And we move to number 19, but I hope this puts us in the top 15, I'd say, as we beat a pretty good USC team, and they just couldn't get anything through the air. I mean, our secondary is balling out. These young guys, we have Parker Gass, who is a sophomore. We have Andrew Jordan, a true freshman, and then Josh Hemphill, who is also a sophomore. This is a dangerous secondary, and... Man, is Marcus Daniels balling as well. That guy is a superstar if there ever was one. He's just all over the field. I like what I see from him. And then Terrence Miller showing up again. Two sacks. Michael Cummings gets a sack. James Jackson Jr. gets his first sacks of his career. He gets a half sack, one and a half. And Parker Gass gets a half sack on the blitz. And we played a pretty good game. Tommy Smith did light us up, though. He had three sacks, four tackles for loss, six solo tackles. But they just cannot get anything going on offense. As, man, our defense balled out this game. I got to admit, as you see, they were held to 281 yards of offense. 0 of 7 on third down. That is huge. And this was just a great victory all around for San Jose. So we moved to 4 0. Hopefully, we'll be top 15 in the nation next game. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.